What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to cover some of the top questions that I get asked about Printful and Shopify um, and the most common ones that I see asked online. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so the first question that I see a lot either on forums or people ask me directly is like how does the billing system for Printful work? And it's a little bit confusing and I don't see it kind of laid out very simply in many places. So um, I'm on my uh, Printful dashboard and I went under my name and went to billing. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do is add a billing method. So go to billing methods, just add your credit card in there um, and then come back to this screen. So I'm not gonna click it because my credit card information is there. I don't feel like blocking it out. So I'm gonna go to billing methods and add a credit card. And then you can see this thing here called Printful Wallet. So essentially all transactions that Printful, that you make with Printful are gonna go through this Printful Wallet. Um, so let's start from scratch when somebody orders from your store. If somebody places an order on your store for a t-shirt, just to say it's $10, they're gonna pay you the $10 through Shopify. That order is automatically gonna go over to Printful and then before they fulfill that order for that t-shirt, they're gonna bill you whatever the cost of goods and shipping. So fulfillment and shipping is gonna come from you. The way they're gonna get that money is by uh, using your billing method. Basically they're gonna take whatever money they need from your billing method or from your credit card. They're gonna extract that and put it into the Printful wallet and then from the Printful wallet, they're gonna take the money from you. So there's, a, there's usually a misconception that um, the money that your customer pays is the money that Printful is taking their cut out of, but that's not necessarily true. It's always gonna be uh, two separate transactions. So the first transaction is between you and your customer, and that money stays within Shopify. The second transaction is between you and Printful. Printful is charging you for fulfilling and shipping the goods that you're basically giving them an order for. Um, and all of that money is gonna go through Printful Wallet. So on your credit card statement or when you look at your billing, I don't have one on here because this is a new account, um, you'll basically see on your credit card say $10 uh, credited to Printful for the Printful Wallet and then when you look at your payment, you'll see that $10 from your Printful Wallet then go to Printful, so it's like a two-step transaction. I'm not sure why they use the Printful wallet and why they can't just go directly to, from your credit card, um, but then you also do have the option of adding money to the Printful wallet, and you might wonder, you know, why would anybody ever do that? And the reason is because instead of having, you know, a hundred ten dollar um, you know, transactions on your credit card, you can just automatically set up um, to recharge your Printful wallet. So if you know you're gonna be making you know, 10, 20, 30 orders every week or every month, whatever it is, then you can just set it so that it'll automatically recharge so you don't have to keep seeing each individual uh, order hit your credit card statement. Um, and then that way you can, it's still easily trackable um, for each order and everything right within Printful. So hopefully that will clear up kind of where the transactions take place between you and your customer and you and Printful. I just wanna say one more time, uh, Printful does not take their profits out of what your customer pays. It's gonna be uh, different transactions. So if you have any more questions on that, just drop a comment below and I'll, I'll try to answer it and cover it a little bit more because it definitely took me a little bit before I realized kind of what was going on um, and that I needed to kind of provide the money from another source to cover all the orders. Uh, one thing I did wanna add to the kind of first part of the billing and the transactions is uh, a question that goes along with that is how much does it actually cost to use Printful and the cost to actually you know, have make your products, have the app on your store, um, have them fulfill it, all of that back-end process is completely free. The only thing that you have to pay Printful for is going to be the actual uh, fulfilling of the goods, so the cost of the goods and then the cost to fulfill it um, for the shipping. So there's no like monthly $20 fee, um, there's no, you know, random transactional fees, you just pay for the cost of goods and the fulfillment. Um, that's the only cost associated with uh, the traditional use of Printful of how you're gonna get started. Okay, the next question I see a lot of is how a Printful order is actually fulfilled, what's the process of when somebody puts it in on your Shopify store to when the order actually gets kind of fulfilled. So when somebody puts an order in on your Shopify store, it's automatically going to be sent to Printful um, as long as you have it synced as a product, as a Printful product. Um, when that happens, the order comes into your Printful dashboard and then it can either do one of two things. It can be saved as a draft 
or it can be automatically fulfilled depending on the checkbox that you pick. So if you're in your Printful dashboard, uh, you go under your name and you go to settings and then you go to orders under stores, you click orders under your settings panel um, and you go to order import settings. You have two options. You can manually confirm imported orders, which means uh, as orders come in, they'll be sent to Printful, but they'll be kind of in a waiting status as a draft. And you'll, you're going to have to manually go in there and click fulfilled. Now you'll see that I have it checked off right now, uh, mainly because on launch day and for the first week or so, I'm going to want to kind of manually do this. And I want to see what orders are coming in, who they're from, just to kind of have a better uh, view of it because it's not going to be a lot. I'm going to do a soft launch. Um, as I start to scale and you know, you're going to have order, multiple orders a day, um, and you know, you're just going to have more orders and, and you're comfortable with the process. You're going to want to go ahead and do automatically confirm orders. That way, as soon as the order comes into Printful, it will be fulfilled right away. There's no manual process to it. Um, and then as, as, um, the status basically gets updated as they fulfill the order and it gets completed and shipped out the tracking information and the status all get imported back to Shopify and to your customers, um, all through automatic notifications. So, um, I do the manually way just to begin with because I want to just monitor the process a little bit closer and I'm going to have a really close eye on it. But obviously as you move on, you're not going to be able to continually be just ready to process orders every second of the day. Another uh, important thing just to talk about while we're talking about fulfillment is for a European order. So uh, this doesn't really apply to me because I'm doing like an American apparel patriotic brand. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to be offering my products to Europe, but if you do, um, they do have this button right here where I'll always fulfill orders to Europe at our European uh, fulfillment center. So essentially what that means is that if there's a product that's not at the European fulfillment center, they're not going to reroute it from the US or vice versa. Um, because if they do that, it will end up costing you a lot more money in shipping. So basically if you um, check this, then if they're out of stock, um, it will let you know that there's something wrong with the order and that you have to let them know how you want to process the order. Um, I would recommend doing that just, just because you don't want to get stuck with like huge shipping um, fees and then end up making no money or losing money on your product. Uh, one thing to consider too um, that I get a lot about the shipping is where is, the, where is the products being fulfilled from? So I was just talking about the European Fulfillment Center. That's in Latvia and that's the only one, that's the only fulfillment center that they have in Europe right now. It services all of Europe. Um, there's two fulfillment centers in the United States, one on the West Coast in Los Angeles, California. Um, the other one is in North Carolina. I think it's in Charlotte. I'm not sure what the city is, but it's in North Carolina. Um, so they're in a pretty good position to be able to fulfill orders rather quickly, having both coasts and also having a fulfillment center in Europe. Okay, another question I see a lot asked is, if you use Printful, can you use other services? what happens if you have products that aren't through Printful. Um, and the good news is that you can use as many services, you can have whatever products you want, um, and Printful can just incorporate into the ones that you have synced uh, to them. So basically I'm in my uh, Printful dashboard again, I'm looking at my products. Let's just say that I have these hats and um, these hats I made through another print, print on demand service, just Printify or whatever you wanna say, or that they're not even print on demand. Um, just make sure you go into the product itself and you can just make sure that it's unsynced. So you'll just unsync it and then that way when an order comes in, you choose how to handle it. It won't even go to Printful. Printful doesn't recognize that as one of their products. Um, you go back here. So if you go back to your products list, you'll have an all and then you'll have a synced. So right now all the products that I have are synced to Printful because I'm using just Printful right now. Um, but if you want to use you know, other print on demand apps and fulfill them from different um, apps or you, have service, or you have some products that you're going to fulfill from your house or from a different warehouse, you can totally do that. Um, you don't have to you know, be stuck to Printful just because that's an app that you use for print on demand. You can just choose what products you want to fulfill from there. Just make sure whatever inventory you want to use from Printful, make sure that all your variants are synced and make sure the products that you don't want to fulfill through Printful are not synced. It's as easy as that um, and you can use whatever services you want. Okay, the next question that I get a lot around is what your customer is going to receive from Printful. So 
The good thing is that Printful is a completely white label uh, fulfillment service, so there's not going to be anything on any kind of packing slips or boxes that are going to say that you know you use Printful as print on demand and that they're the ones that delivered the uh, order to them. Um, and even cooler is that you can customize your packing slip. So if you go into your settings and you go to packing slip, you're able to actually upload kind of like a logo or a little branding sticker that's going to go on the packing slip. Um, you can put your customer service email and phone and then you can even leave like a little custom note like thanks for you know following leave your social media ha uh, like a hashtag or whatever you want to do um, so you can do that completely for free so it's not going to have any printful branding so it's not like um, if you fulfill by Amazon how they get an Amazon box in the mail they're going to get you know a white label box mainly it's not going to have any branding on it and you can customize the packing slip um, you can add pack-ins to the boxes. So um, it's an FAQ that they have up on their website. So I just went and grabbed it because I don't know this off the top of my head. But basically you can send a max of two pack-ins and add two different pack-ins to each order. Um, it just tells you what the maximum size is and that the total pack-in weight should not be should be two ounces per shipment. Otherwise they'll charge you more for shipping or they won't accept it. Um, and then the cost of that Packings cost 75 cents per order, um, and that won't be visible on your packing slip. And then they charge 85 cents per day for every storage bin that you use. So in my opinion, if you're just starting out, I would just make sure that you customize the packing slip, and I would not worry about sending pack-ins, uh, mainly because you don't know how many orders you're going to have right off the bat. 75 cents per order, you know, 70, an extra 75 cents for a t-shirt, that's actually a decent little chunk of change considering that you're also going to be ch charged 85 cents per day for every storage bin. I don't know the definition of, you know, what a storage bin is, but, um, you know, 85 cents per day times a month, you know, you're looking at a decent little fee there. Uh, definitely not necessary just to get started. So customize the packing slip. I would just make sure that you remember that they have these promotional materials that you can use, but maybe not necessarily, uh, you know, get them into Printful right away. Another thing is that I believe you can only fulfill these through um, the California facility I read. So, yep, they're only available for orders fulfilled in our California facility. So that might also affect um, shipping prices for you if you have to ship from the California facility. Um, and then lastly, I get a question about how the orders are shipped. Is everything shipped um, at one time? Do orders come separately? Like, do you get a separate box for each item? And the answer to that is that it varies. So um, if you order like just apparel, so like t-shirts and a hoodie, um, that's gonna be shipped together. But if you order like a canvas and a hoodie and a coffee mug, there's a good chance that I believe for those three, they're gonna be shipped completely um, separately. So you have to take that in, into consideration when you're talking about shipping prices because now you're going to have to pay for the most expensive shipping price because you're shipping one t-shirt. Then you're going to have to pay the most expensive shipping price for the canvas because you're only shipping one. And then same for the mug. Whereas if you were shipping two t-shirts, that first one's going to be expensive. But that second one, if you're using like flat rates, is only an extra 75 cents. So if you're going to be, you know, having a wide array of different products that are not going to ship together, uh, you just might want to think about how much you want to charge for shipping, how much you want to charge for the price of the product, because that shipping cost is going to kind of eat you up. Um, based on the fact that they're going to be shipped out separately. Okay, so hopefully that answers a lot of the questions about Printful. If you do have more specific questions, drop a comment. I am um, kind of digging more into the taxes between Shopify and Printful. It's kind of a confusing system and definitely depends on where you live. But as far as the tax situation goes, um, Shopify has automatic um, tax uh basically rules applied depending on where you've registered your business. So wherever you put your um, the residence for your business, whatever city or town um, and state that you have registered there. And then Printful kind of has their own tax system, especially if you're going to be uh, fulfilling over in Europe and sending orders to Europe. There's a um, VAT or a VAT tax. So I'm definitely digging into that. I'm going to cover that in another video. Um, 
is just pretty in depth and I think that will be enough content for a whole separate video. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully these questions will just give you a better understanding of the general questions that a lot of people have about Printful. If this video was helpful to you, if you could drop a like, uh, drop a comment, let me know if you want to see more videos like this, more questions about Printful, and I'll catch you in the next one.